Hello beautiful people, hope you are doing well and I'm back with this cool technique which could be used inside Cinema 4D and Root Shift and basically this is not dependent on your geometry almost you could use grid, you could use whatever you want you could use tube, cube, sphere and everything is done inside the material inside the Root Shift so let's dive into the Cinema 4D file and let's build it from scratch. Uh, we are back to Cinema 4D. I prepared the scene. This is like standard scene with dome light inside of it, with some object inside of it. We have this redshift uh, settings. You could increase your bucket size to decrease the time for your render. Uh, global illumination, globals, if you have RTX, turn that on. I have uh, ASIC baked inside of my uh, picture and auto sampling. That's it. Uh, I find myself most of the time using auto sampling because it gives me like pretty solid result with really good time for render. So didn't play uh, a lot with our with samplings for a while. Okay, what we want to do? We want to create new material, which could be done here. Material, material, new material, standard material. Apply it to your model. This is like a plastic, plastic kind of material. We want to tweak a bit of colors, make it like yellowish, white decrease our reflection bring up a little bit of roughness decrease index of refraction make it more of that kind and that's it for for this one for the purpose of the demonstration then you want to start your to build your effect we go with max and noise connect it to the output and probably I want to turn off our post effects because I don't need it now. Max and noise. I change seat just to have another variation. I go with turbulence, decrease octaves. This is like a complexity of your noise. Uh, of course, have it more of overall scale and just a bit of more of that black spots I want to see. Then we want to go to cycles and decrease that all over to maybe even 12. And these cycles give us our picture, this nice circular pattern around our noise. So maybe even more on the global scale and even more for low for the low clip maybe more for this yeah i like it the white would be another layer of material and the black would be our ceramic material so here we start to build our effect and we could animate this speed 0.5 and you could see it if you play your effect and this is already looking cool there's like a liquid thing liquid noise inside uh, only a maxon noise and inside only your material the next thing you want to bring into your scene is math scalar and modulo modulo is like a rem remainder of the divider of the division it's like operation if you want to to know more about that i will try to link a few tutorials or sources to explain it more so but you need to understand it if you want to uh, increase your skill for example because it uses a lot in espresso in houdini and this is nice to have the basic understanding of this effect so this is like another layer of cycles inside of this noise you want to cheer put this into the input and go into the surface. So we have nothing here because the divider 
if we increase that again we have nothing here but if we think about the color in terms of uh, numbers so this is black to white white and this is black is zero and white is one this is a range of numbers from zero to one and we want to white it from zero to one and if we do it like third or maybe increase it you could see the live feedback in there so this is pretty cool this is like a paper burn and this is already looking cool even this is black and white mode but we have another issue when we have like not now we don't have zero to white we have uh, to one we have zero to this number because we have division for that number and in order to fix that you need change range input there and maybe just uh, to be consistent we want to bring constant number bring it 0 0.0 the same as that one and put it here and put it in there so let's think about that we want to change our range from 0 to that number to new range from 0 to 1 and that will give us from black to white map again so this is a core of our effect so this constant go into old max from 0 to old max not 1 but this number because we decreased it previously when we do in module so now what we want to see we want to see a displacement so go to displacement displacement not blender but displacement parent it to the texture and use it as a displacement in our output now we could use our material previously but it doesn't work because we need right click and redshift redshift object tag and we, ho we go inside geometry overwrite here and enabled here and enabled here so what we want to do here I want to decrease our number from 0 to 2 and basically that's it because we see something here let's bring back our material then go to the displacement and change our scale to minus 5 or so and now you have the real geometry real displacement geometry displaced geometry not a bump map or something like that this is display geometry all inside the material so it's like a bit of jaggy but it's due to our resolution you could increase it here and probably yeah it solved a lot of problem maybe you don't want to use that strong effect I didn't use smooth obviously but you need to play a bit with your effect I wouldn't do that now but oh sorry this is another effect this is pre-built material so maybe just not that strong minor 3 is good to go in our case now you want to we want to build everything around this core effect so we have our displacement we need another material this material would be like copper and a little bit of darkness inside of reflectivity I like that but we want to mix these two material in material blender use one as a base color and use another as a layer color one this shows nothing because we need a mask for this layer one I want to use a ramp it's a gradient and to map this effect see what we got and I want to have more whites inside that so I just bring this way up and have more contrast I think here and go layer blend color and see everything together and this is that's pretty much it now you could play around with overall scale you could play around with your speed and this will be updated 
afterwards. So this is our main control. If you want more of that speed, you could increase it or decrease it and that will bring you this beautiful guy. Sorry, I have a laptop and that's not that quick in real life. So now what we could do next, we want to have another layer of rim outside of this pattern. And in order to do that, I want to use another ramp. Maybe I, I I'll use this noise and I just want to isolate this rim closer to the left side. So, and maybe, yep, nice, soft fall off from that side inside of our uh, gold uh, copper material and change this color to reddish orange maybe something like that it's all about your taste and connect it to overall emission color go inside the overall and turn that way up maybe 10 to see something maybe not that saturated and now i want to see everything together And yeah, it's great. I mean, 20? I want to really shine that 50. Yeah, now we could see this in the reflection that this is not the same material as it is inside of this metal. And we have the beautiful islands of go outside of our camera. And we have these beautiful islands of uh, different materials and noise and this could be done in on the grid again on any object you want and this is pre-built effect so you could bring I will show you just in a minute that you could use it wherever you want a little bit more lightness to this guy still and that's pretty much it that's the wall effect inside the material. You could use another layer of material and use another layer for this, for example. Everything you want to know uh, that you need to do is like change, uh, take a change range, remap it and use inside, for example, this blender material. So we could animate it once again, as I had it before. I just animate this brightness because when we have black black here inside our noise we just reveal only this material so animate this brightness from 10 frame to 40 to 0 and we have revealing this effect uh, very soft and nice and which is cool about that that this is like opening our material like that as you could see it's starting from from the center of our noise pattern like glowing firstly and then just bring all picture together and this is cool again i could use the cube and just place it here and we have everything the same i just need to do this tag again yeah it's cool Use it back, delete the cube, because we want to do one more thing. We want to add, I, I made in bloom inside post effects because it's cool and I don't need to do, because I could increase the effect of that in post, but here it's cool too. You could even go with for example color control and do your magic here just to see the effect more clearly with that without that now we want to have more of the bloom intensity and it's cool already so that's it once again this is a cool technique 
you could just take a noise model, remainder of the divider, change range it, and bring it to your uh, tree of material there. You could have more or less of that effect controlling this constant number and you could control your animation speed and all inside this noise you could try another noises maybe another pattern to reveal this effect hope uh, you'll find that useful and that will help you in your journey of motion design or just in your 3d journey just impress express yourself and be yourself and have a nice day bye bye